Generations of Americans have had their eyes tested with this chart. You remember how it works. Cover one eye, read to this line, then cover the other eye, read to the line again, and if you can accomplish this, you have passed. You have 20-20 vision. Hi, I'm George Page, host of the public television series Nature and other science programs. The Snellen chart was developed more than 100 years ago to test distance vision. The phrase 2020 vision simply means that you can identify the letters on this line with either eye at a distance of 20 feet. Many of us, however, do not have 2020 vision. We fail this test and are referred to an eye doctor for an examination. After careful measurements are taken, those who are diagnosed as nearsighted, farsighted, or astigmatic can have their vision corrected to 2020 with a prescription for glasses or contact lenses. In the past, 2020 vision was considered sufficient, but today it's a very different story. We're all required to spend much of our time using our eyes at reading distance or near point. And at near point, a whole host of new factors come into play, such as convergence, accommodation, and saccadic eye movements. When we read a book, study, work at a computer screen, review a report or other near point tasks, we do not cover one eye as with the Snellen chart. We use both eyes together as a team. This is called binocular vision. Let's take a closer look. To see clearly and comfortably at near point, the eyes must turn in together or converge so the image from each eye is fused to become one. At the same time, the curvature of the lens must change or accommodate to bring the image into clear focus. Once fusion and clear focus have been obtained, the eyes must move as a team. For example, to follow a line of print across a page and then jump to the next line. These are saccadic eye movements. Furthermore, these complex binocular vision skills must be sustained for extended periods of time. And frequently, that means for the entire working or school day. As you've seen, at near point, there's much more required of your visual system than just identifying a letter at 20 feet. And just as many of us are not gifted with 20-20 vision, Many individuals have poor binocular vision skills. Even a slight muscle imbalance in your visual system requires an extra effort to keep both eyes aligned and focused. This imbalance may fatigue the visual system, frequently causing headaches, a pulling, strained sensation in the eyes, blurred vision, or a loss of concentration. All of this can make near point tasks difficult, painful, even unbearable. With more severe muscle imbalances, or if the visual task is too demanding, you may be unable to keep your eyes constantly aligned. When this occurs, the system breaks down, and one eye will drift out of alignment. This is known as intermittent strabismus. In extreme cases, the eyes will always be misaligned. The misalignment may result in double vision, to compensate, the brain will usually turn off or suppress the image from the strabismic or drifting eye. And since the suppressed eye is not used, the visual acuity of that eye is continuously reduced. This is known as amblyopia or lazy eye. Amblyopia can also be caused by a condition called unequal refractive error. For example, the right eye may be slightly nearsighted while the left eye is somewhat farsighted. The brain will choose the image from the eye with the clearest vision and suppress the other eye. This condition can be detected only by your eye doctor. Amblyopia, left untreated, can lead to total vision loss in the affected eye. This is the leading cause of vision loss among younger individuals. Using the latest sophisticated instrumentation, your eye doctor can accurately measure your binocular vision skills. There are tests for vergence ranges, accommodative facility, eye alignment, 
and suppression. Should testing indicate any binocular deficiencies, your eye doctor may elect to prescribe a vision training program. Just as nearsightedness or farsightedness can be corrected to 2020, binocular deficiencies can usually be corrected with vision training. The training program consists of scheduled office visits during which you will work with this special computer instrument and perform specific procedures or exercises designed to help your eyes develop the muscle coordination necessary for good binocular vision. The computer training program will be designed for your own personal binocular problem. So as you master an exercise and your abilities improve, you will be assigned new and more demanding procedures. In some cases, your doctor may also recommend special glasses or supplement training with other modes of therapy. Many binocular problems can be resolved in just a few months. Others, which are more serious, may require a longer training period. Upon successful completion of therapy, your eyes will be able to function comfortably and efficiently as a team. Your symptoms will be eliminated or significantly reduced, and near-point tasks will become more enjoyable and rewarding. Now, it's up to you. Good binocular vision skills are essential in today's world. If you've experienced any of the symptoms demonstrated in this presentation, ask your eye doctor about the benefits of a vision training program.